match till the end. Here comes Spider Slayer. I'm gonna let you have a chat with him, All Nick, right. and uh, gonna have an interview with Spider Slayer coming up. Welcome, Hello. Spider Slayer. How are you? I'm doing well. Good. How are you feeling? Uh, not so good, actually. Not so good? Pretty frustrated, actually. Yeah, I, I can imagine, you know. Uh, it, it seemed like, you know, you had a pretty similar build idea that you were going for in the three games that you played. Um, it really worked out for you well in the second game. First game, you kind of got harassed a lot. Uh, what, what were your thoughts in choosing, like, the build between the different games? Um, the very first game, well, let's go with this. The build in general um, is just to prevent... On ladder, I often do not see a fast um, Hellion build. Mm -hmm. It's not very common anymore. Um, so pretty much just the Roaches was a response to that. Yeah. Um, and that's just my, my standard Roach response. It delays his uh, delays his second base quite substantially. Um, and I don't feel that I should have lost the first or the third game. Um, it just I just wasn't able to sort of get it all together. Um, the Roach is just at his base. Just keep him there for a long time. Allow me to macro up. Um, I probably should have skipped Midas mm -hmm. entirely, um, simply because he's a very wheel mine heavy player. Yeah. And um, I could have gone right into the stuff, the, the composition that I wanted and skipped Midas completely. Um, I think the grand total of my Midas were like maybe one drop. Yeah. That was it. Um, yeah. And, and, and that wasn't a good investment. So, what do you think went right in, in the second game then? Like, because it seemed like you had a pretty commanding lead um, for a lot of that game. In the second game, uh, in the second game, I was just able to get to the composition that I wanted to have mm -hmm. relatively unhindered and keep him off his extra bases. Um, yeah. And then and I had some good fights in that third game. Um, the rush distance on that particular is so. Would you mind leaning forward a little bit? We're yeah. having a hard time getting no, some fine. sound. The, the rush distance on there is, is so close. Mm -hmm. um, I just wasn't prepared for his push, so... Gotcha. You know, that, with the longer rush distance, um, I saw his, his one attack coming and was able to crush it pretty easily, mm -hmm. um, and then and then roll over from there. And, so knowing what you know now about Game 3, what would you have done differently? Uh, game 3 done differently. Uh, probably skip the mutas. Mm -hmm. Skip the mutas. Losing all the mutas to, like, two Widowmine hits, yeah. two Widowmine hits, that was yeah. huge. Um, just because it gave me so much map control mm -hmm. and I could see everything. Um, beyond that, I don't know. It, that last fight was pretty close. And mm -hmm. if I win, win that fight, then I win the game. If he wins that fight, he wins the game. Right. Um, just because he can he can park right there, and my main and natural are split off from my third and fourth. Right. And if he sits there, there's nothing I can do mm -hmm. because you know it's just it's you really can't leak up your armies no you can't you can't get i mean it's kind of a good surround for me but if he sieges there which is kind of what he did and and then and he can just pick which one he wants to kill and right and it's kind of kind of unfortunate yeah so, yeah well we're sorry to see you go out of the tournament I we, am, uh, very, very, very we were hoping to see more zerg action we enjoy yeah, casting things. your games we enjoy interacting with you so well, hopefully we'll get a chance to do so in the future and uh, good luck in yes. future tournaments and good luck to Taren Ter as he continues as well all right thanks, thanks.